Today we have been asked to become inspectors at a polygon factory. It is our job to determine which shapes pass inspection. How can we decide which shapes pass inspection at the polygon factory? In this lesson, you will learn how to identify a polygon by examining its attributes. To begin, let's review what we already know about the attributes of polygons. Counting the number of sides is a way to group shapes. The common attribute of these shapes are the number of sides. All of these shapes have four sides. You remember when we talk about a closed figure, it is a shape that doesn't have any opening or gaps. As I look at this first shape, I notice it has a gap, while the shape on the right is closed without any openings or gaps. If we were inspecting these shapes at the factory, which ones would pass inspection? Well, let's see. The first shape, hmm, I notice it has curved edges. The middle shape has a gap at the top of the figure. And the shape on the right is a shape we commonly call an oval. None of these shapes would pass inspection at the polygon factory because they have curved edges or gaps. As inspectors, let's examine shapes that are polygons. Let's see, the first one. What do you notice? The shape has three straight sides that are closed. The middle shape has five straight sides that are all connected and closed. Finally, the shape on the right has four straight sides without any gaps. Well, what have you noticed about the shapes we call polygons? You notice that all of them are closed figures with straight sides. As inspectors of polygons, which of these shapes belong at the factory? Well, let's examine them to see. Beginning with the yellow shape. Hmm, what do you think? I notice it has four straight sides and is completely closed. The green figure. After examining it closely, we can see that it doesn't belong at the factory because it has curved edges. Our final inspection is this blue figure. Does it belong? It does because it has four straight sides that are connected without any gaps. Well done. In this lesson, you have learned how to identify a polygon by examining its attributes.